Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about benefits of breast milk. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Breast milk is nutritionally superior compared to other forms of milk like cow's milk and formula feeds. It contains all the nutrients a baby needs for normal growth and development. These nutrients are present in an optimum proportion and in a form that is easily digested and absorbed by the baby. Coming to the carbohydrates present in breast milk, lactose is in a high concentration in breast milk. Lactose helps in absorption of calcium and it also enhances the growth of lactobacilli. Galactose present in breast milk is necessary for the formation of galactoserebrosides. Coming to proteins present in breast milk, Proteins are present in a lower quantity compared to animal milk, but they are present in the form of lactalbumin and lactoglobulin which is easily digested. This is not the case in animal milk. Breast milk proteins contain amino acids like taurine and cysteine which are necessary for neurotransmission and neuromodulation. Coming to the fats present in breast milk, breast milk is rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids which are necessary for the myelination of the nervous system. Breast milk contains omega-2 and omega-6 fatty acids which are important for the formation of prostaglandins and cholesterol. Coming to the vitamins and minerals in breast milk, breast milk contains sufficient vitamins and minerals to satisfy the needs of the baby in the first six months of life. Their bioavailability is also good. Coming to the water and electrolytes in breast milk, the water content of breast milk is approximately 88%. So, breastfed baby does not require any additional water in the first few months of life, even during summer months. Also, the osmolality of breast milk is low. This presents a low solute load to the kidneys. Breast milk is also immunologically superior compared to other forms of milk like cow's milk and formula feeds. This is because breast milk contains a number of protective factors like immunoglobulin, mainly secretory IgA, macrophages, lymphocytes, lactoferrin, lysozyme, bifidus factor, interferon, etc. Therefore, breastfed babies are less likely to develop infection. For example, a breastfed baby is 14 times less likely to die of diarrhea. It is also four times less likely to die of respiratory infection. Breast milk is important for mental growth of babies. Babies who are breastfed are better bonded to their mothers. They have a higher IQ than those babies who are given other forms of milk. Coming to the other benefits of breast milk to the baby, breast milk contains a number of growth factors, enzymes and hormones. For example, epidermal growth factor in breast milk enhances maturation of the intestinal cells and reduces the risk of allergy in later life. Enzymes like lipases present in breast milk increase the digestion of fats in the milk. Breastfed babies have a lower risk of allergy, ear infections and orthodontic problems. They also have a lower risk of diabetes, heart disease and lymphoma in later life. Now coming to the benefits of breastfeeding to the mother. Breastfeeding soon after birth helps in uterine involution. This reduces the chances of postpartum hemorrhage. Breastfeeding provides protection against pregnancy due to lactational amenorrhea for the first 6 months after delivery. Breastfeeding is convenient, time saving and cost effective compared to other forms of milk. Breastfeeding reduces the risk of CA breast and CA ovary. Breastfeeding also helps to shed the extra weight that the mother has gained during pregnancy. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.